beautiful people. This is your girl T and I'm back guys. Oh, I always say I'm not going to haul anything else, but it happens. Some things come straggling in or I've been sent things for happy mail or publishers are sending me books. So this video is going to be a mixture of those things. It's going to be things that I received from publishers things that I've hauled, and Happy Mail. So, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't think it's going to be that long because it's not a lot of stuff. Um, I think it's considered kind of a big haul because, you know, it's 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 kind of, kind of, it's kind of quite a bit, but it's not really. Not like I normally do. So I'm just going to say this is a kind of a big haul. Um, but welcome to my channel. My name is T. This is T's World of Adult Coloring, and all of you beautiful people are welcome here. Um, there's something for everybody here, I believe, uh, and I hope that you find something that you like on my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you like the video, go ahead and like the video at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some things that are not really coloring related, but I do want to share with you guys because I think this stuff is cute. So I was at Target, guys. And look what I found in the dollar spot section. Yes, I love fuzzy socks. These are the knee high ones, I believe. They go up to your knee. I'm going to take them out. I was like, I want to show it to them. I want to wear them so bad. Uh, I'm cold natured. Um, whenever I'm in the house, I'm always like, it's cold in here. And the guys are like, it's not cold. <laughs> I'm like, it's cold. So... I have to stock up on like socks, warm things. I sit around in a big, huge, fluffy robe that's fluffy like this, um, that has a hood. And sometimes I'm like wrapped up. They're looking at me like, you're crazy. <laughs> it's not hot. I mean, it's not cold in here. But these socks are so soft and they're so cute. I love the stripes. Um, and these ended up only being $5 for both pair. So I just had to share, you guys, share with you guys these cute fuzzy socks that I had to get. And those were at Target. All right, next I was at the Dollar Tree and I found some stickers. These are really cute, super sparkle sticker book, prismatic stickers. And look at these stickers, guys. I like stickers. I can use these in my um, in my um, planners. I can put them on cards. Stay magical, LOL queen, just smile sweet. And I love them. They're so cute. And all of these were only a dollar. Super duper. Need coffee. Girl gang. So that was so nice to find. This is at the checkout section. I found these. I thought they were so cute. And I, so I picked those up. I also found these Let's Planner stickers. I've never seen them before. You get 375 pieces. And look at these stickers, guys. There's gold foiling on them. On some of them. Look at that. So you got a cheetah there. You are stronger than you think. Smile, never give up. I love these for a dollar. Tags. Don't forget you have your important reminders, things like that to use in the planners. Oh my gosh, they had many different ones, but this is the one that I liked the most. Um, and I thought, you know, I'm not gonna, I love planner stuff, but I don't wanna get, you know, a bunch because I have happy planner stuff and things that people have sent me from Etsy and things like that. So I don't want to like overload myself on too much of that. But I love the dot stickers because I can use those to mark like pay dates and stuff like that. So yeah, 375 planner stickers for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Really cool to find those. All right, next, this is not color related. Something else not color related. But around here, around this time of the year, my family, we like to start puzzles. Well, I like to start puzzles and typically they say, I don't want to do them, but they come over and like put a piece or two in. But I started, um, I got a couple puzzles. So this one is a 1,000 um, uh, 1, piece by Chuck Pinson. These are Buffalo. And this is the one I've, just, I've started. It's almost halfway done. Um, but look at the picture on that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the fall. I love it. So I picked that one up. And then I also picked up Josephine Wall's Glitter Edition. 
it's got glitter on the picture. So wherever you see the glitter here on the box, it's gonna have glitter on the actual puzzle pieces and I'm super excited about this. This is Eros and Psyche, this is a thousand pieces by Buffalo. I found these on Amazon, these two that I just showed you. They were on Amazon, they're about 10, between six and 10, maybe a little more than that, maybe six to 13 maybe. Um, so I got that one. Then you guys, I don't know if, I think I told you guys, my Dollar Tree has a new section where there's things that are a dollar to five dollars. And I found a bunch of puzzles. I was like, oh, <laughs> yes, because I love puzzles. And when I'm done with them, I box them up and I share them with other people. But this puzzle here was only three dollars. It's 300 pieces. And look at this fall scene. I love it. It's got some birds here. Autumn Tranquility. This is a crazy art puzzle. Um, so I've never done a crazy art puzzle. Um, the artist is Abraham Hunter. So I'm really, really excited to try one of the crazy art puzzles. They had tons of puzzles there, guys. I was like, puzzle heaven. I was like, I should have came here before I went on Amazon and spent all that money on those two puzzles. I could have got my money worth here. Um, then I picked up this one. This is considered a color Lux crazy art 500 piece puzzle. It was only $3 as well at the Dollar Tree. And it says colorful buildings in harbor with luxury yacht and boats in Liguria, Italy. So again, nice puzzle, 500 pieces. And I love the colors, even though it's not a fall scene. I love the colors because it's got colors of fall. And I like doing puzzles between now and like even into the new year. Then guys, they have Buffalo puzzles, a thousand pieces. I was like, yes, Buffalo puzzles are it. Okay, so only $5, Country Life, Autumn Paradise. So this is another autumn puzzle, um, very pretty. And the, let's see who the artist is, if they say. This one doesn't really say, but yes, that was only $5 for that thousand piece puzzle. Very happy I found that one. And last but not least out of the puzzles, I found this one. Farmer's Market, Country Life, Buffalo, 1,000 pieces. And again, I bought it because of the fall leaves, the fall foliage back here. Um, it still looks like it could be, well, it's beginning fall because you know you have hay bales and you got apples and sunflowers. So yes, I was so happy to find this. These puzzles on, on Amazon are about 10 bucks or more. So I was just like, they're not staying here. So. <laughs> So yes, I got some puzzles. I'm, I have enough puzzles to last me through this uh, winter and beginning of next year. So yay for puzzles. All right, next, um, we're gonna get into some storage stuff. I found it um, at um, Target. I went to Target and they had this, guys. You guys know I love pink. And this metallic, like quilted pink case, even though it's just one of those plastic ones, I was like, oh, it's pink. I love it. So I picked that up, but I think it ended up costing me less than $2 because it was on clearance, um, you know, the school stuff. So yes, I got that. And then I got another one. It has more of a scalloped, um, but it's still pink. It's pink, you guys know my favorite color is pink. And it's metallic -y and I love it. It's just so, so girl and glam. I love the glam feeling of these boxes. So I got those two. And the last storage item I found there was this cute little, this is a pencil pouch, guys. This is so cute. It's so me. I love gold and sparkly. And I don't know if you guys heard of Juicy Couture. I love Juicy Couture. And they have a lot of pocketbooks that kind of look like, they look girlish, but they're for big girls like us. <laughs> Where they're velvet and have gold danglies and charms and stuff hanging on. I have a couple of those and I love them. And so this kind of reminded me of a Juicy Couture um, type of thing. So this is a pencil pouch. You can put your pencils in there. Um, there's also little spaces here if you wanna put some tools or more pencils and markers. And it's so soft and fuzzy and so cute. You can hold it like this. Um, and this is the um, More Than Magic brand. And I wanna, I don't know how much it cost me um, it was on clearance too. I think it was like about four dollars on clearance. So of course, guys, that had to be added 
to the cute um, pouches and stuff that I have. All right. Next, guys, I was at Michael's just looking around for, because I'm doing some DIYs. I'm making um, one of those um, wood shutter welcome signs for my porch. And I was in there getting ribbon and, and stuff like that. And I saw that they had a bunch of stuff on clearance, but it was so messy, you guys. I was like, how is anyone supposed to look through this stuff? So I went to the to the front they had another section they had it looked a little bit more organized and i found two items i found this uh craft smart um medium tip point it's like a glitter glitter paint pen it's a water based paint pen a premium water based paint pen in blue so we're gonna see how that looks and then i got these eco line um i've always wanted to try these and we're having a art fair coming uh, real soon, next month, early November, and I'm going to be at this art fair, and they sell, it's given by um, Jerry's Artorama, and they sell tons of art supplies for like really deep discounts, and um, they had these once, and I was like, I really want to try those, um, but I never picked them up, so I decided to pick this up to try it. These are brush pens. Uh, they are water-based. It says here that they are um, concentrated, transparent watercolor paint. You can combine them with digital work. It says the brilliant colors um, are due to the use of dyes. And basically you can use these on color paper, drawing paper, cardboard, uh, watercolor paper. Um, and there are 59 colors total. So this is the primary um, set. And of course we're gonna try the pink one. So I'm gonna open this up. And I have a little piece of watercolor paper here. I'm gonna zoom in. Hopefully it doesn't bleed through this. And just in case, I'm going to put something behind it. I'm gonna put that behind it. So I'm gonna try this pink. So as you can see, this one's um, magenta. Has a brush tip, brush nib. And I'm just going to Ooh, nice and vibrant. Check that out. Let's try, I'll try all the colors. So it's four colors and then there's a blender. I won't mess with the blender. I just want to see what the colors look like. This is the first time. Wow, look at that vibrant. Yellow. And I'm wondering, you probably can move these with water. I have not tried that yet either. So once I play with them a little bit more, I'm gonna be trying all of that. Wish I had a water brush pen here. Oh wow, I love that blue. Oh my gosh. That one's called Sky Blue. The yellow is called Lemon Yellow Primary. And then um, of course we have black and then the magenta. So you get four in a set. These cost me $5 guys. So a dollar a pen, a uh, dollar a marker, but these are not, <laughs> these are regular like I think 20, 15, Maybe $15, I think, for five. They're pretty expensive. So um, I was happy to find these, finally get to try them. So I'll see if I how I like them. And if I like them and I see them at the fair, I might grab more. We'll see. All right, next I want to try the uh, Craft Smart. This one I have to actually um, get it started. Oh, it's in the plastic too. You can hear that. You have to shake it up to prime it. Open this right up. It has a little, it has more plastic, even though it's in that little cardboard. So shake that up. I'm gonna prime it. You know, sometimes I don't like doing this because it it will spit right out. Okay, it's already starting. Let me see. Ooh, that has a strong smell. <clears throat> Okay, if you don't like smells, don't get this, this pen, because it smells strong. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Look how sparkly that is. Wow. That's really sparkly. It smells so strong, guys. You see how sparkly that is? 
Wow, it's really pretty, but man, the smell. Whew. Okay, don't get those if you are allergic to strong fumes at all. Don't get those. All right, next we're going to get into the coloring book. So I'm going to move all this. Oh, wait, one more thing I found. This was at a jelly pouch I found at Target. I thought this was so cool, of course, because it's pink. <laughs> and then it's, you know, something I can just stand up on my desk. I can use it for pencils I'm working in or working with in pages. Just set it up just like that. And it has this nice feeling. It's really soft. I don't know if you're like me. I love things that are soft and that's really soft. So I just had to get it. And I think it cost me less than $3 for this. And they have different colors. Um, that you could get. Okay, zip it up, T. <laughs> oh. All right, now we're going to move into the books. So let me clear this out of the way and we'll get started. All right, time for some books, coloring books. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, coloring books that were sent to me by publishers. I've already done flip throughs of these and maybe colored in some of them on screen, some I did not. Some I do have whips in. And I'm showing these because, hey, it's something that was sent to me recently, so I'm going to show them. <laughs> All right, so the first one that I was sent was uh, this Cozy Autumn. This was sent to me by Sally Berry, um, the contact there. And uh, again, this is Cozy Autumn. Um, so I'll show you guys the whip I've started. This is my whip. I'm still working on it, and it's for their... I'm going to put it on their, um, on their, uh, Instagram <laughs> and Facebook if they have Facebook. Um, but yeah, so these are some really nice images. As you can see, I'm using markers and water soluble medium. So the paper's crinkly, but, um, nevertheless, I am enjoying coloring that. This is a really nice book, big, um, big spaces to color in and dark line art all autumn. Very cute. And you can find a flip through of this book on in my on my channel. All right. Next book sent to me um, was Handbags. All right. This is by Studio Bye Bye. I have also done a flip through of these books on my channel. I have not yet colored one, but I will be coloring one uh, this quarter in each book and posting those photos of these beautiful illustrations all right the next one um, was also from bye bye studio this one is called sneakers and it's also a fashion coloring book you have some with um, you know images just not just the shoes but the actual um, scene scenery and then you have them with shoes and then again with scenery and again you can find these on my channel the flip throughs of these all right, next I was sent three books from Action Publishing Incorporated. The first one is this one here, Garden Paths Forest Trails Coloring Book. This one, um, uh, I do have flip throughs of these on the channel. These are recently received. And so I'm working, I have a whip in here. You will see that in the video as well. Um, I have not finished it and it's these cute little birds on the branches. <laughs> Um, so they sent me that one. This is a nice book. It's perforated at the top and it has um, lots of cute images. They are, uh, some of them are intricate. So if you are, you know, having issues with your eyes, this may not be the book for you, but you can also check this out as well on my channel. They also sent me this one here, Geometric Coloring Book. I really, really like this book. Um, it's spiral bound on the side. Great paper, single-sided, um, and there's a lot of great geometric shapes, pictures. Very, very nice book. I think this is the favorite one out of the ones they sent me. I just like how simple and but beautiful they are. And that's Geometric Coloring Book by Action Publishing. The last one they sent me was Dream Bean, Coffee Lover's Adult Coloring Book. This one's not so much my taste, so this one I will be sharing with someone. Um, it is spiral bound on the side with a metal. Um, it has recipes, it has quotes for coffee lovers. Um, 
big spaces, some intricate pages, not many. But yes, they sent me this as well, Dream Bean. Next, I received Inspire, Matthew and Mark from Tyndall Publishing or Publishers. And they are a faith-based uh, publishing company that does coloring books, Bibles, resources, nonfiction, Christian nonfiction and fiction books. And they sent me this book to share. And I did a flip through as well of this one. Uh, this one I think I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to color this book next year um, and have it finished um, as a, something of challenge for myself. All right, and that's Inspire Matthew and Mark by Tyndall Publishing. All right, next we're going to get into Happy Mail. So I received Happy Mail from the lovely, um, this one's from the lovely Barbara. And I don't know if I showed this one. I may have already. Please forgive me if I have. But this is Black Girl Magic. I think I have now that I'm remembering it because I think I showed. Oh, no, no. I showed you guys a completed picture, but I didn't put, put it in my haul yet. So that's the completed picture in here. Uh, but here are some images in the book. Very nice. If you want to practice coloring dark skin. That is Black Girl Magic coloring book. And that was from the lovely Barbara. So thank you, Barbara, for that beautiful book. Next, I received this beautiful book called In Vogue, a multi-level creative coloring book by Pap Leisure. This one was from the lovely Karen in my Facebook group. She sent me this book. I do not have it. And um, I was like, wow. And I really like that there's pictures of guys because there's not a lot of that in our coloring books. Um, I know some of Korean coloring books really have pictures of guys. Um, and so hopefully somebody's listening who is an illustrator. We like pictures with guys. <laughs> um, so yes, I received this and a beautiful card um, from the lovely Karen. So thank you, Karen, for the happy mail in Vogue. Next, I received this beautiful book. Uh, Prima Princesses, which is a duplicate for me, but it's it's okay. This is from the lovely Muriel, and she's a card maker, you guys. She makes beautiful cards. Look at this card. Look at that card. I won't let you guys see the note, the personal note, but yeah, handmade by Muriel, and it's just a really beautiful card. I love it, um, and so thank you, Muriel, so much for the book and the card. Uh, but you guys, Prima Princesses is on watercolor paper. And I have this book and I've done two in here. Um, so this one, she said it was okay since I already have it to share it. So I'll probably be sharing this with someone in my Facebook group. Um, they're interested in um, watercolor type of coloring books. All right, and that is Prima Princesses. Okay, by Prima. All right, and the last piece of Happy Mail I received is this beautiful watercolor book from Corey at Colorfully Optimistic. She surprised me with this book. Thank you so much, Corey. You didn't have to. <laughs> um, but yes, I had another one of these on my uh, wish list, but she sent me this one, which is fine because I like, I want to work in watercolor more, and I think that this book will help me I love that it has color palettes and it really gives you an opportunity to try. I mean, it gives you instructions what to do. So I'm really excited about trying it. I didn't want to try it yet until I shared it with you guys. I might do it on screen. We'll see. I'm not really good at watercolor, but hey, we can all learn together, right? So thank you so much, Corey. Thank you so much for the book. You're sweet. All right, next we're going to get into um, just books that I've hauled. Um, and um, my first one here is Coloring Heaven Unicorn Special. This came in on my um, subscription. And this one, you guys, at first I was like, unicorns? I don't want a book of unicorns. But when I saw <laughs> some of these unicorn pages in here, I was like, wow. Now, I have one White Stag coloring book, but these ones here by Selena Finnick are really beautiful. I don't have any of her unicorn books. 
and I probably won't buy them because there's plenty in here for me. So, um, and then these ones here by Heather Hitchman, man, they're gorgeous. Look at that. I really like these images in here. These cute unicorns. And they almost look like doggies <laughs> in the face. Uh, but they're so cute. They're so cute. So I'm really happy to get this book. And I'm so glad that I do have this Coloring Heaven magazine. Sometimes I get books and I'm just like, nah, that is not for me. But this year, I can only say I've done that to one book so far. And we are almost finished with the whole year. So that's a good thing. All right, and that is Unicorn Special by Coloring Heaven. Then I was out at the dollar um, at Ollie's looking for some cool stuff, and I came across this Paul Cox's Christmas um, Pictura book. So if you're familiar with Pictura, they're the books that fold out, but this is a large one, and it's basically Christmas scene, the winter scene. I absolutely love this, you guys. I love Christmas. Anything, anything that has to do with Christmas. And so, you know, this is right up my alley. I can see using watercolors in here, metallic watercolors. Look at all the people. I mean, this is just gorgeous. I absolutely, absolutely love this book. And so, yes, so happy to find it. And guys, look at the price, $1.49, regular $7.95. So yes, Paul Cox's Christmas. All right, next I have 50 Safari Miniatures. And if anyone has any of these books that I'm about to share and you want to do a buddy color, please contact me. I have several going on right now, but the more the merrier for me, okay? So we have 50 Safari Miniatures, and I do have a buddy color in here, the lemur page. I have to get started on that. But this book, you guys, I think this is my most favorite book from Camellia Angelkova that has ever been released. It is absolutely adorable. I love this so much. <laughs> oh, so pretty. I love it. So that's 50 Safari Miniatures. Next, we have Flowers Stained Glass. And this is a Coco Wayo coloring book. You guys, I am on a Coco Wayo kick. I love stained glass. Tiffany Stained Glass. This is on Amazon printed paper. It's okay. Um, I can work with it still. And that is Flowers Stained Glass by Coco Wayo. Next, I have Cute Stuff by Coco Wayo. And it's just a bunch of cute little images. No repeats. Very cutesy. I have cutesy books, but not as many as probably most. Um, so I thought I'd pick this one up. And it's on a, a decent price. And I'm really liking what Coco Wayo is doing. Um, so this is a uh, cute stuff coloring book by Coco Wayo. Next, I have Interior, and this is also by Coco Wayo. This is one of their newer ones, and I love coloring interiors. That's what I went to school for, so I'm really interested in these types of books, um, and especially if they're nicely made as far as like the illustrations. All right, and that is Interior by Coco Wayo. Next, I have Mounts, uh, Mounts 5 by Olga Goloveshkina. And this is a Christmas coloring book, you guys. I don't have any Mounts coloring books, and I really like this one so much. It is so cute. It is so cute. I love all the little, the poinsettias on them and the presents and stuff. The um, ornaments hanging off of them. I think this is the cutest book ever. Um, and that is Mounts 5 by Olga Gol Goloveshkina. All right. Next, I picked up Decora Anime Girls by Coco Wayo. And this is my first Decora type of coloring book. And I thought the images in here are absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh. Coco Wayo is doing their thing, y'all. They are like, 
coming out with the cutest books. Love this. All right, and that's Decora by Coco Wayo. Next, I picked up um, From Halloween to Christmas. And the reason why I picked this up is because it said Christmas. <laughs> Not so much for Halloween. <laughs> um, Y'all know that. <laughs> I don't like Halloween stuff too much. But, hey, it's in here. But I like these cute little pictures of the Santa. The, oh, the winter pictures. Snow Queen. We got some... Halloween stuff in here, of course. But yeah, that is from Halloween to Christmas special. And that is by Duria Kirkusoy. Kirk Sorry, Kirkusoy. All right, next I picked up Autumn Charm. And I've already done a flip through of this. have not colored anything yet. I'm really eager to. I don't like doing that until I haul don't know which one I want to do, but if anyone wants to buddy color again in any of these books, please let me know because I would love to. I would love to. All right, and that's Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodrich. Beautiful book. All right, next up we have Rustic Autumn Scenes. This is my first Ava Brown coloring book, and it will probably be my last. Um, I did a little mini like flip through of this on my channel and I'll keep this um, on my Facebook group in my Facebook group and somebody said hey doesn't this look like a Teresa Goodridge picture and it was this picture right here and she showed me the Teresa Goodridge picture is it in autumn scene autumn charm I'm gonna show you guys if it is nothing on Ava Brown but it's very similar but I don't like that it's that similar, so um, I decided I probably won't buy any more of those books because um, of that reason. I think it's in, I don't think it's in Autumn Charm. Um, I think it's in Autumn Scenes. But yes, if you look in Autumn Scenes, you'll see something similar exactly like this. Um, so... Needless to say, I do like the pictures in here because it's got the dark line art. I will color in it, but I, I won't buy any more um, of these books if that's going to be the, the case for these uh, images. Okay, so that's Rustic Autumn Scenes by Ava Brown. All right, next I picked up Cozy Cabins by Coco Wayo. Again, <laughs> love it. Interiors, exteriors. Absolutely love this book. Can't wait to color in it. Love the outdoor scenes. Just so nice. Yes. Cozy Cabins by Coco Wayo. All right, next. I was at BJ's, which is a whole like a, a wholesale like food club, or what do you call those wholesale clubs like Sam's and um What's another one? Costco? What's called BJ's here. And I was able to find this large print happiness color by number, easy to see coloring book. And I love it. It's huge. I mean, it's got a nice cover. It's not like the paper cover. And look how big the spaces are. I love that it's large print, but not super large, you know? So look at this. I'm just, the dark, the numbers are pretty dark, so I'm sure they're going to show through, but I don't really care about that. It's just the fun of coloring these. Um, and so this is a, a big, thick book, y'all. Look at that book. It's thick. And it's so many great pages in here. Um, and I can't wait to get started in this one. And that is Large Print Happiness Color by Number. Easy to see. <laughs> oh, the older I get, the worse my eyes get. <laughs> All right, next I have Goddesses by Coco Wayo. Again, another gorgeous book. Look at that. Oh, look at this. I mean, they are doing it, okay? Coco Wayo's books are amazing. The illustrations are just gorgeous. Gosh. Just gorgeous. Very nice. Goddesses by Coco Wayo. 
All right, next I picked up this one here from Jade Summer. It's called Positive Quotes Coloring Book. And I've noticed something, I don't know if anyone else has, Coco Wild is not doing double images. But I picked up this book because I like the fact that the wording is huge and it's dark, line art. And something that I could do really quickly if I wanted to, if I just want to color the, the actual quote. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick that up. And I think it was on sale. It was like one of the introductory prices. And then I had like a leftover gift card for like four bucks, three or four bucks. So I barely paid anything for this book. So yeah, so I picked this one up and that's Positive Quotes by Jade Summer. And it's a newer book, I believe. All right. Next I picked up. Well, y'all see that 50 Halloween miniatures by Camelia Andrakova. And this one is, I picked it up because uh, it's a cute book, but it doesn't have anything scary in it, you know? Lots of pumpkins and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I went ahead and got it. So that's 50 Halloween miniatures. So, again, if you want to color with me, let me know. And you can pick the page. I'm good. I'm good with anyone picking the page. <laughs> then you guys, I saw this and I don't have, I only have one coloring book by Sachin and Sach Deva. And when I saw this, I was like, Ooh, now I don't have to buy all those books. <laughs> I'll have some of everything or some of these few that are on the screen on that are in here. Um, and it's a hundred color by number pages in one book. This cost me $5.99. I was like, yes. And I don't know if it's still $5.99, but it's got several books in here. It's got the ones that are the mosaic. It's got uh, some Halloween ones, Halloween mandalas. It's got, uh, I'm trying to find some of the names are on it. It tells you at the beginning of each one, the Christmas one, Christmas mandalas. Um, it looks like some of the Egyptian and I don't have that. I've, I've been seeing people color in that. I've been wanting it. Some more mosaics. Diamond mandalas. I remember that one. And this is, I think, um, they're on the front. The ones that are in here. Um, is it stained glass nautical maybe? I think that's it. Stained glass nautical. Yeah, so I was like, wow. And birds, guys. So I was so happy to find this and I will put a link to see, you know, to this book if you're interested. Now I don't have to go and buy all of those books. I have some of these books all in one, 100 pages. So I'm good. <laughs> so thank you, Sacha and Sach Deva, for even doing this. Um, I really appreciate it. I don't know if anyone else does, but I just like that this came out and I was able to, you know, Get this so that's all time hits 100 color by number by such and such diva and last and certainly not least i picked up finally came in took forever but that's okay is my reese Dur durch europa by rita berman i'm not gonna say that i'm saying it right but this guys let me tell you i think this is the best rita berman book ever um oh my gosh Every page is just gorgeous. It's whimsical. I mean, it's just totally beautiful. And when I went through this book, I was like ooing and aahing at every single page. It's that great of a book. And I'm just so happy to be able to have gotten a copy. Yes, love it. <laughs> All right, that's Mein, mein Ries Dirk, Dirch Europa by Rita Berman. And that's all I have, y'all. Was this a big haul? Let me know. <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> it probably is a big haul. Uh, so, but you know, you know, pre-orders come in. I probably will not do another haul video until after Christmas. I know I won't. I'll just collect them all until then. But I hope that you all have enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to. And until next time, y'all, take care.